In this video, I'm going to talk about how we install contact forms on the mobile websites. So I want to go into this uh, demo uh, site I have here. And I have one already set up. I'm going to show you how we go about setting it up. It's just this page here, contact us. To actually get it on the page, all we do is we put the short code, that's this code here. Now if I go down the page, I'll explain where that comes from. That comes from these settings down here, the contact form settings. And you see it's down there. Um, what I'm doing is I'm taking the settings on this page here, page I'm working on, which is 23, ID 23, this page. And if we go back up and look, you'll see that's what I took. I put that short code there for ID 23. That means I'm using the settings on this page here. If I used the one for the site, which is that one there, ID 21, then it would have took any settings that I had on the main site um, settings. Now, what's going to happen is where that short code is here, it will be replaced with a contact form. If I look down on the display area here, you'll see here's the contact form here, that section there. Now, it doesn't quite display exactly right on the simulator here, but on a mobile phone it actually displays correctly, and the, the other side of the border appears correctly here. Uh, but what, what you're seeing here is it's got some text here for where I want the name, I want their telephone and their email, and what uh, where they want to type their message and what I want them to s to press to send the message. So if we go back up here to the opt-in form settings, you'll see here were those prompts, give me your name. I just put something strange there just so you could tell that that's where it was coming from. Daytime telephone number, best email, type your message below, send the message. So you're able to customise what goes on on the actual prompts there. The colours come from the theme that's being used for this particular page or this particular site, depending on what the, the settings are for the individual page. Um, now, the rest of these settings, what do they all do? Well, here it's the email address that you want the contact message to be sent to. So when someone fills it in on your mobile website, this is the email address that will receive the message from the person on your website. This is just the name and the send from email address that's used to send that message to that email address there. These are the prompts that go on the page. And here, what we're saying here is do we want to show an acknowledgement message to, to the user after they've filled in their message and pressed send the message? Do we want to put a message on the screen to them? And if you tick this and say yes, then whatever you type in here will appear on screen to them once they've pressed this button down here, send the message. It's just to tell them that their message has been sent through to you. Okay. The next little section here is whether or not you want to send an email acknowledgement to the person that sent you a message. If you check this, then these settings here are used. And what this does is, this is the name that will appear in the email. This is the email from address that will be used for it. This is the subject of the message you're going to send to them. And this is the text of the message you're going to send to them. So if you check this, once they send you a message, then they will receive an email message from Easy Mobile Admin from the email address acfrom at easymobilegenerator.com with the subject acknowledgement of your message and the text of the email message you sent to them would be this message here. So all these things are configurable on the contact form. So it makes it very, very useful to you. Um, this email address that I've got here, that can be your email address or if you're doing the, the sites on behalf of clients, then obviously you put your client's email address in at that point there. And then the message would be sent to the client's email address. So very, very simple, very easy to use. Just fill in these sections here. Oh, one other thing I should tell you about this is if you don't fill in any of these things, such as the, the 
name prompt, the phone prompt, like that, then the system will look onto your default settings and use whatever is in your default settings for those prompts. And the same for the acknowledgement messages and that. So if you want to, you can just set these at one time in your default uh, section and then Every time you use a contact form, the values from the defaults will be used. But obviously, if you're working for several different clients, you possibly want to put slightly different messages in the acknowledgement message. You know, maybe you want to put the client's name here. Um, client name would go there. Uh, if it's something like um, ABC electrical contractors you put their name there like that something like that so very flexible very easy to use all you do fill these details in here take the short code that you require from here and place it where you want on the page you can even put this short code on a different page if you wanted to or have it on two or three pages if you wanted to. There's no restrictions on that. Once you've set these details in here, just copy the short code that's underneath where you set the details, um, the ones on this page, and paste it wherever you want, and the contact form will appear there. So very straightforward.